Hi everyone, my name is Veronique Langelet. I'm a dual Microsoft MVP and one of the maintainers for the PNP PowerShell module. In this video, we'll get you started with the SharePoint Term Store. What is it and how you can benefit from it? Let's go. To access the Term Store, navigate to your SharePoint Online Admin Center and navigate to Content Services, and then Term Store. And this is where we have our global taxonomy. And we have a few parts to the taxonomy. We have the term groups. Then we have the term sets. And if we expand a bit more, we have our terms. And if you look closely at the icon, this is the icon for the read-only permissions. And we can confirm that if we look on the right-hand side, and my current account is not a term store admin. So I won't be able to change anything in this term group. Now, this being the term store at the tenant level, because we are in the admin center at the minute, we'll be able to use them in any site collection. But we have another term store, and this one is at the site level. So let's switch over to a site collection. Navigate to the gear icon, and we choose site information. We can go into view all site settings and assuming that you have the correct permissions, then under site administration, we have term store management. And we are reminded at the top that we only have view only access because I did not add my account at the tenant level as an admin. But for now, let's just expand the global term groups. And this should be familiar because we've seen that a couple of minutes ago. And if I expand people, and department, I have my global terms. And this time we have site level term groups. Let's expand. And we currently have nothing. Remember, we are at the site collection level. So let's go ahead and add a couple of terms. Gonna add a term group first. Then click the ellipsis and we can add a term set. And finally, we can add a term. So once you have added your taxonomy at the tenant level or at the site level, how do we go about using them? Well, for that, we need to create a column to use the manage metadata type. So let's go back to the site. And I have created a document library called Term Store Demo, where I have a couple of documents. We need to add a column. So you can add a list column or you can add a site column. We're only going to add a list column for this example. Go into Add Columns. And now we can see the manage metadata type. Click on it. And let's give a name to our column. We can give it a description. The type is manage metadata. And then we need to select which term groups or terms that we are interested in. So click on select. And at the top, we can see my term group that we've just created. Let's expand that and expand again to see what we have. And we only have one term set, so we're going to select it. So we are going to be able to use the terms that are under this particular term set. Once we're happy, we click on save. You can choose a default value if you want to. And then we have more options. Again, we can select if we want the term only or the term plus the parents and some other settings. Let's click on save. Now the column has been created and added to the view. And if I edit one of the item or document that I already have, I can enter one of the terms and click apply. And we can see that the metadata has been applied to the item. 